Half a day. My name is Christian Guerrero, and I'm an instructional coach for the Guam Department of Education. And for today's module, I will be focusing on Power Teacher Pro, which is uh, an upgrade from the original Power Teacher that the Guam Department of Education has been using for the last couple of years. And we are upgrading to the Pro version. And the Pro version has a lot of new features that can seem overwhelming at first, but hopefully this video will show you that it's it's not as daunting as it seems, and hopefully I can guide you through it. And today's focus is going to be on inputting grades, setting up assignments, quizzes, tests, things of that sort, and how to connect the standards to it. So let's get started. Okay, so let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is be sure that you are logged into your PowerSchool and when you're logged into your PowerSchool, you should be brought to this homepage right here. And you will know you're in your account because it should have like perhaps your initials. So mine's right here. And what you're gonna do is go here to this menu on to the left, which says navigation. And underneath there should be what says Power Teacher Pro. So I'm going to click on that. And it should direct straight to Power Teacher Pro to the Power Teacher Pro website. It's loading. Okay. Now it says this is just a practice. Obviously, you're gonna see things like quarter four is already completed because it's it's allowing me access to to last school year, but just ignore that. So you're going to be brought here and you will have classes on the left side here under Power Teacher Pro is another set of menu and you'll see that there's a lot of icons here. But with, for today's tutorial, we're going to focus on grading. So these are the assignments. These are assignments that are already listed that I've done. And here to the right, we have our settings or we could this little cogwheel here. Uh, it shows the quarters and semesters. Then up here on the right, once again, is your account. But you can even, this is this is a pretty neat feature where you can change the items on the screen to small, medium. I like it large so that it's easier to see. But if I click on medium, it'll show you that. And of course, small, but I will stick to large. Now, in order to start grading, I have to be sure that I am clicked here on the grading tab. And when you click here too, you see that there's assignment list, which is what we were viewing. There's score sheets, categories, different types of grades. But what we're gonna do today is, I'm gonna show you a simple way, which is going here to the top right where there's this little circle with a plus button. It can be easy to miss. So if you just click on that, it's kind of a shortcut. And you'll see that there's assignment, category, observation. We're going to be doing assignments today. So I'm gonna click on assignment and it'll bring me to this box, which is where I will set up my assignments. So it's loading right now. And you'll see that it does look a little different from the previous power teacher. It actually gives you uh, more options. So I can select classes. So depending, so this is a, a middle school setup. I believe high school should be similar. And of course, if you're in elementary, you'll see all the different subjects that you're teaching for here because it's a second it's secondary setup it's by periods right so i can actually create if i want to create one assignment and assign it to multiple classes i will click on select classes and then it's already checked on the current the current uh, period but what i can do is also add it to other periods if i want to by clicking one of these boxes on the side so I'm just going to stick to the current and see it is ready warning that I have to be sure that I have an assignment listed. So I'm going to name this assignment, give it some generic name, assignment eight. And then category is where you will select as a classwork, project, quiz. It's up to you. And there's, there's a lot of options because this is a science class. It's going to give me these particular options. But for this, I'm just going to stick to these four right here. So this one, I'll, I'll just collect classwork. So it's classwork, my due date. I'm going to backtrack this because 
I want to be able to show it to you. So I'm going to backtrack it to May. Just give it a random May 13. And then here you can do points, percent, letter. I'm going to stick to points. You can even score uh, entry points. If you want to count in traditional final grade, if you don't want it to count, you can un you can uncheck this box and it won't count it towards the grade. Perhaps you're setting it up so that you have your evidences. So you can decide toggle between that. You can even go back here later if you want to if you want to take it out so that it doesn't add towards the final grade. And then here on the bottom, you even have other options here. You can add a description. You can even link 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 a, a, a web page to it you can even add an image perhaps that deals with the assignment so it gives you a lot more features here we can even click here on the top here they even give you extra you see students standards publish so students i'm going to click on students and here it automatically shows me the students that it'll that will receive this assignment and because this is a practice site they gave me they assigned two 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 names as for practice for practice purposes but if i want let's say i wanted this assignment to only be provided to certain students so right now you can see that all the students like so if you have 25 students or 20 students of course you're going to have 20 people listed down here so i can filter it i can uncheck that right now no one's getting it and let's say this assignment specifically is just for blahs here so i can click that and only this student will receive it and this this this, re this is really helpful this feature so that you can perhaps you have uh, groupings in your class or perhaps you have students that have that have special accommodations and you have a special assignment for them you can assign those assignments just to them and have it listed just for those students now i'm sure most of the time you probably will have it set up where all the students will receive it and that's fine too so this is where you have to click show all because it's typically when you go to the section it's automatically defaulted to show selected and you might be trying to click how come i can't how come i can't change the student you got to be sure you change it to show all right here so show all then i can filter it and go from there so then here's where i can attach the standards so for fourth quarter these are the uh, the standards that are that are provided for seventh grade earth science and so here are the sta the standards so you should i should be selecting one of these to see uh, perhaps assignment eight which is the one i'm using for this example it covers this standard GU, point seven, point SC, point two, and as well as this one. So, or maybe it's all of them, and they can select all of them, right? But this is where the, the a big, huge difference is is where we are able to link the standards to the assignment. So this is a, a big, a big, big. Uh, oh, exit that. Uh, a big feature that's being added to power teacher pro for us we can go to publish right if you want to publish scores or perhaps you want to publish the assignment on a specific date that you don't want it showing yet because parents of course will have access to view their child's performances and perhaps you're, you're setting up ahead of time or you're giving students extra time to submit the assignments so you don't want parents to start questioning not understanding that Oh, perhaps the assignment's not due to the end of the week. It's up to you, but it's defaulted to immediate, but perhaps you set it to a specific date or whichever other features you want here. And then I can save, which will keep me on this page, but it'll save everything I've done, or I can save and close it. So perhaps I'm not done and I want to look, okay, I have the standards here. This is what I want. Yes, the students have selected and my assignment information of course you can you can edit this later if you want so it's not it's not as if if you if you do this now that it'll be 
you can't modify it. You can definitely modify it. So we're going to save and close this. Save and close. And then I can click here to score assignment if I want. But let's say, so I can click on that. So they, they try to really make it so that the <clears throat> it's very user friendly. So here, the student, I click on the box. And as you can see, this is another beautiful feature that I really like about Power Teacher, Power Teacher Pro is that they made it so it's like a touchpad. And the reason for this is because perhaps you can now, because it's a web-based system, you can access this through your digital, the other digital devices like your iPad or perhaps you have a some sort of digital tablet as long as you're logged into the if you, if you have internet access you can actually use those those uh you can use the um you can use uh, the these features over there so it's supposed to be like a touchpad so that if you're using a tablet you can you'll be probably using your finger to tap it type it in so this has made it so that it's it's simple that way so here i can score it I, since I set it to points for a scale of 1 to 10, perhaps I felt the student got a 9. And then this student perhaps got a, also a 9, uh, perhaps got an 8. And then here, I can even score based on the standard. Now, as you can see to the right, the touchpad changes and it's on a scale of zero one two three four which is in line with the grading policies so based on this the standard for standard point uh, sc.2 perhaps the student scored a 3.0 so i can put a three and perhaps this student scored a 2.0 so i can put a two and then perhaps to this assignment the student demonstrated beyond the knowledge and I gave them, they get a four and perhaps this student reached the standard for this and it's a three so I can do those things and now you have the score and now you have a link to the standard and how they're faring and this is all builds towards your body of evidence and then they give you other right where you can quick fill you can fill up and down so it'll it'll fill for all of the students straight straight down or perhaps you have a new student who came in and you're re-inputting grades and you're able to do a fill horizontally. You can do that. If they're, if, if they're late or missing, you can do that. So perhaps for this student, the assignment was late. I can put, I can click it. So it's, it's giving me this feature so that I am aware and also parents are made aware that Okay, your child submitted it. However, as you can see, the assignment was late. Um, incomplete, you can do that. Of course, you just wanna uncheck that box. You wanna remove it. Missing, so we can keep track and that way you will have evidences too if you, if you need to provide for whoever. You can, shoot, you can keep track as to, oh, I apologize, but the student is missing. Your, your child has, has been as this many and it makes it a lot easier right so let's say the student didn't so I'm just clicking and deleting it and I put missing see so it shows this this missing logo so that it's a lot easier for you to see what's happening you'll also see here in the top right under for this student that you can toggle between students so if you don't want to click on the box itself you can move up and down here and then right here in the top right you can close this or this is the trackpad which is what we're on right now but over here is where you will also find comments so can't let's see I can put okay so the comments is going to be under the score so here under the score the primary score I can add comments they also have included the comment bank 
So the comment bank is down here on the bottom. And this is where you can find all of the traditional comment bank comment banks are where the comments are at you can filter it you can star it so that it moves it to the top and it's easier for you to see but this is also where you would find let's see if i can locate it here the esl modifications now you will every every so often esl will uh is, is required for you to uh, submit the report and you have to put the ESL modifications that that you have you have applied to your class uh, for your ESL students and this is where the accommodations this is where you can find them so you can look and see if you want to use any of these clear comment so you see that this this the, the one thing about power teacher pro is that they try to make it visually more appealing and they they try to make it more user friendly. It's just that they've added more features. So that's where people often get, they feel overwhelmed. But if you go through it, you'll find that a lot of it is actually pretty, pretty simple to locate and navigate. It's just they've moved around certain things or they've added it. And, and I believe that it, it won't, it won't take too long to adapt to this. And you'll see that the new features actually make can make your job a lot easier so let me just close this so i can close that so it's completely closed and if i want to i can also double tap if i click on this it reopens it so close it again and say oh i want to score this now i just have to go here and i can click on it and it'll open back up and go from there so i'm going to close this and show you also so here's where I was saying that you could edit the assignment if you feel like, oh, I want to add more information to the assignment. So I'm going to edit it. So, oh, I would need to save it. You're right. So save and continue. And there it'll lead me. So don't forget to save your assignments regularly so that you don't accidentally lose inf any information. However, they do a great job. The Part Teacher Pro does a great job of reminding you so it'd be pretty difficult to forget um, but you do want to try to save it in case the internet goes out you want to be saving your assignments pretty consistently because although power teacher will remind you however some things are out of out of their control such as if the power goes out or your battery dies out or if you lose connection to the internet then you could possibly lose the information that you put in you can delete it, you can duplicate the assignment, you can save, save and close. If you click just save, it'll save it, but keep you on this page. Save and close will save it and close it where you can go to the assignment. You click here on show more and this will give you uh, additional information. So, but we won't go into that in this video. Um, and up here again, by the touch, you can click on the class if you want to switch between uh, the class and if you want to switch between assignments. So let's go do that. Click on grading. If I want to go back to the assignment list, I can view all of the assignments in one page. I can do that. So once again, that is basically how to input scores into Power Teacher Pro. So you can do that and use this video to hopefully guide you. And please feel free to email me at crleongaro at gdoe.net if you feel you need additional assistance and perhaps I can or I, or I can inform your instruction coach or district mentor to provide additional assistance to you. Thank you.